Okay, I'm Alex Aguirre at GoFoil. I'm going to try and uh, show you how to, the easiest way to manipulate your wings. Like say you've got an older wing that you want to put on the newer mast. Or say this is your older mast and you're getting a new wing to put on it. See this wing is really tight. This is one of my older wings that was fitting on a different mast. This is the newer 1.5 mast. The way to sand these things, to make these wings fit, is you want to get yourself the right size file. This is a half round file. I don't know if you can see that, but it's flat on one side, round on the other side. This flat side is the side you want to use. You want to make sure that this fits inside your cone, the right size file. You don't want a, a super small file. This is a smaller file that fits perfectly in the tail wing, but you do them both the same way. You get a piece of 60 grit sandpaper, cut it so it's about this big, wrap your file around it, or wrap it around your file. You've got your 60 grit wrapped tightly around, and you're going to use the flat side of this file put it inside your wing and you're trying to sand it totally flat the inside of this is flat all four sides so try to sand it flat don't try to bend your file one way or the other hold it on something like you got a work table or whatever usually you start with the left and the right of the wing those are usually the sides that are going to be the so put it in a you know, position where you can, you know, hold on to it. Try and sand the whole distance of where that fuselage is going to fit in. So, you know, try and sand four or five inches up inside this wing. And this is the way to properly sand the inside of your wing. Now, when you put it back on your fuselage, you could you start to look at it. Look at your fuselage, tap it off and on, don't do sand too much straight away, and try and look at your fuselage and see if you notice where it's rubbing. If you see it's rubbing on a certain side of your fuselage, you know that's the direction of where you want to sand on the inside of your wing. Now once you get your wing all the way on, if the hole does not line up perfectly, like say it's off by a millimeter, which can happen on, especially on some of the older masks, you take a round or what we call a rat tail file, put it inside the hole and sand it whichever direction you gotta go. Now say if it's really far off in your screw, you put your screw back in and it's not totally flush anymore, you get what we call a countersink bit on your drill and just countersink it a little bit to make sure that your screw fits in nice and flush like this. You want it to be kind of flush. You can ride it no problem if it's not flush, but you know it's always nice to have it. All you need is some simple tools. A rat tail file if your hole is not perfect. A small file wrapped with 60 grit to do the inside of your tail wing. And wrap it with 60 grit no matter which wing you're using. The front wing, I like to use this flat one side and it's a little bit round on this side. I get all these tools at Home Depot. Put it in there, put it in there. And that's how you sand the inside of your wing correctly.